Devoid Wrestling Podcast. Devoid Wrestling Podcast. Devoid Wrestling Podcast. Cast it up like a embarrassed. For something you will have never wanted to know You sadly saw it coming, but I guess you should know Devoid Wrestling Podcast Sorry, my computer broke Whoa, don't you hate when that happens? I sure do, and welcome to the Devoid Wrestling Podcast Wow, we predicted stuff, we but sure you did. already knew that we're, I can't. I can't wait for this weekend, where there's ten hours of wrestling one night, and eleven hours another. That there's so much wrestling all the time forever. I mean, even like today, as of recording, there's like two different shows going on with the NXT UK Prelude. I wish it was WrestleMania all the time. I wish we had seven hour shows every day. <laughs> I love Stand Deliver WrestleMania Night 1 and WrestleMania Night 2. <laughs> I tried to make it canon on Twitter, and I don't think people got it, but that's okay. People are they're just not thinking as hard as I did. Right. And before we get to the actual predictions, mm. you know, WrestleMania week is a special week in wrestling, mm. and I wanted to put something on the line for these predictions. Ooh. Now you may have you you may be the current Devoid Entertainment champion, but this belt I cherish like nothing else. Mm -hmm. So what I'm gonna do is put the actual belt on the line for these predictions. So if I win, you're going to drive to my house and give me the belt? Yes. Because I want to win these predictions. And putting this on the line will encourage me to do so. I don't know. It's a little bullshit. I feel like I'm already at a disadvantage here. <laughs> what do you mean? We haven't predicted anything yet. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've won most of these. I think that's mine. <laughs> but this is the one that counts. This WrestleMania and NXT TakeOver Stand to Deliver is the one that counts. Okay, stand. Where do you stand on Kushida versus Tommaso Ciampa? I think Kushida needs a win. Well, I don't think Tommaso Ciampa's in this match. So I'm going to say Pete Dunne. Oh, shit. You're right. <laughs> it's, it's Kushida it's... versus... See, that's how much he needs a win. He can beat two people. <laughs> It's early in the morning, <laughs> but I, I think really just a regular time and we're just <laughs> children. <laughs> but I think Pete Dunn needs a win right now. Also, I think uh, they're trying to push Pete Dunn to actually be more of a main event star. So a win. He's a here. main event star. He's the second longest reigning NXT UK champion. They need him to be a main event star in NXT. And every person who needs to do that has to go through Kushida first. But Kushida hasn't won. Exactly, because everyone he's beaten has gone on to be a main event star. Or everyone that's beaten him, rather. Anyway, I think Pete Dunne. Alright, so the next match is Leon Ruff versus Isaiah Swerve Scott versus Bronson Reed versus Cameron Grimes versus Dexter Loomis versus LA Knight. The winner of this match goes on to face Johnny Gargano on Deliver, or Stand and Deliver Night 2 if you're WWE. For the North American Championship. Micah, who do you got here? And why? Well, I stan. Uh, get it? Because of where I stan. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I, I want Cameron Grimes to win. Because even though I don't watch NXT. He, uh, everybody there. Besides maybe LA Knight. He is the person who is the most person. Everybody else is just not a person. Like, who the fuck is Dexter Loomis besides being creepy? Like, his whole thing is, like, he's creepy. Get it? He draws pictures. 
and and Bronson Reed, his whole thing is, what if Braun Strowman was fat? See, and who the fuck is Isaiah Swerve Scott? I haven't even heard of his name before. <laughs> his debut match. He's been in NXT for over a year. <laughs> He's been mostly on 205 Live. I have huge bags under my eyes, and I just woke up. What does that tell you? <laughs> well, you said who is Dexter Loomis. Dexter Loomis is the person who's been feuding with the Garganos for the past, like, two months. So I think it is very obvious that Dexter Loomis is going to win this match and go on to deliver to face Johnny Gargano for the North American Every Championship. Every time you say it's obvious, that person does not end up winning. Well, to be fair, this time it it is the obvious choice. <laughs> I hope that doesn't come to bite you in the ass. <laughs> the next, uh, match, the tag team match. I didn't have an option, and thank God you went first because I just picked what you picked because I don't <laughs> need these three teams. Yes, yeah. I chose MSK uh, because. Uh, MSK is like NXT's hot new project in the tag team division and they won the Dusty Cup and they're really good. I mean, they are. So it's got to be MSK here. They're, you know, if they win the NXT Tag Team Championships, they will be uh, the first pe people to ever hold the NXT Tag Titles and the PWG Tag Titles at the same time. Because technically, they're still PWG Tag Team Champions. So I chose MSK because they're cool. I like them. And I chose MSK because Derek chose MSK. Io <laughs> <laughs> Shirai versus Raquel Goods for the NXT Championship. Yes. Now, I picked Io Shirai because of all the people in NXT, she's the one I probably love the most. And she jumped up. At War Games, how is she not going to be the champion? War Games five months ago, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like what myself. happened in the past? <laughs> yeah, WWE. Uh, no, but it's NXT and like. I said I Raquel Gonzalez because I think sort of the time frame for EO's championship run, while she's been great, it's sort of run its course at this point. And I think Raquel Gonzalez is the person they sort of want to build the division around after maybe they send Io Shirai to the main roster. So I think cementing that with a really big win for Gonzalez here in what's rumored to be the main event of night one is going to be fantastic for her character. So I want to say Raquel Gonzalez. Very nice. It's Walter versus Kushida. I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> It's that Walter isn't even the person you mixed up with Tommaso Ciampa. It's funny because I didn't add Tommaso Ciampa to the, to the card. Walt is Tommaso Ciampa. What a match this is going to be. Probably going to be the loudest match card. It's going to be the best match of the card. I mean, I look I, like thinking about Walter and Ciampa just makes me so excited for wrestling. I don't know. Could I, don't know. I said Walter because uh, Walter is basically becoming the UK's Bruno San Martino at this point, so he's going to hold the title forever. Yeah, Walter, because uh, imagine if Tommaso Ciampa represented the UK. I can't. So I picked Walter. <laughs> Night two! Or deliver if you're cool. <laughs> I'm not cool. What a dumb bitch. Johnny Gargano versus the person who won the Eliminator Gauntlet. I'm picking Whoa. Johnny Gargano because oh, yeah. that's way better than yes. any of the other choices. Even if it is Dexter Loomis, which it will not be. How boring would that be? That What a boring I... title reading for the person whose whole gimmick is, wow, he's creepy. He draws pictures. That's what, that's what See, I, said before, right? I picked Loomis because, again... Loomis has been feuded with the Garganos for months, and it's almost the certainly the obvious choice for who to leave, take over, stand, and deliver as NXT North American champion. So I said Dexter Loomis. 
God, that'd be really funny if he just did not win anything. If he doesn't I mean, win the gauntlet, I'm screwed. Yeah, because if you pay, because you have to have Dexter, you can't just have the eliminator winner. You have to like right. you have to have pick Dexter Loomis. You can't right. just it can't be like fucking isn't Leon Ruff in this match? So like, yeah, so if like if like Bronson Reed wins, for example, I can't. I yeah, can't you, just you can't write win, gauntlet so eliminator. That's, that's a whole point lost. The way versus the wire, and I'm picking the <laughs> way. I'm picking Ember and Shotzi because did I pick I the way? Feel, did I, am I right? I'm, yeah, you did. You did pick the way. Woo! I'm, I'm pick- picking them because I think the Gargano should be Evolution and hold all the belts at once. That would be great. <laughs> Just need Theory to get one. Austin Theory for NXT Champion. I want him to win the Cruiserweight one. Uh, well, speaking of the Cruiserweight Championship, the next match is a ladder match to unify the two Cruiserweight Championships that are held by Santos Escobar and Jordan Devlin. I thought you were going to say Shawn Michaels because <laughs> that's what I, I see. I, I, I saw a thing on Reddit. Uh, oh, yeah. Because he because he it because it, it was just like, why is Shawn Michaels just weirdly not talking? Isn't that his whole gimmick? Ch- Shawn Michaels. Right. Yeah, so uh, I think I went with the unpopular pick with Jordan Devlin, but has he just not wrestled in like a year? I mean, he's been over in UK. He's been wrestling over in UK. Okay, but like on American soil. I mean, I he, he didn't really wrestle much on American soil before the pandemic happened and he was cruiserweight champion. I think that he'll win the Cruiserweight Championship because they'll want to forget all about this interim bullshit, and then they can say, oh, what are you talking about? We never fired... Ah, oh, what's his face? Remember what... The, Drake Maverick. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole storyline. They can just forget about that because I think people still remember that, and, like, this... Like, Santos Escobar winning is, like, a, a, lo- a loose thread. I... I like, uh, in storyline, Jordan Devlin's the hero. Cause he's, cause he's just like, you, dude, you, I, you guys forgot about me. I, this is my championship. You, that was, that's the interim belt. That belt doesn't count. I, he's the hero. <laughs> you got, you're, you are rooting for the villain. I uh, did not pick with my, uh, with my brain here. I yeah. picked with my, with my morals, and therefore I picked Santos Escobar. Well, this is the WWE. You can't do that. Derek. They they can do whatever they want. I can predict whoever I want. Right. And I'm going to rest with lose, my morals. You, you lose these. Like this 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 I is fine. <laughs> I'm I am shooting brain energy out for the rest of the predictions, but this one is not anything smart. This is just mm-hmm. I don't like Devlin. Baby baby. <laughs> That's All right, brain energy. Any sponsors out there? Please give us money. Yes, please okay. bang. Pa- the new live Patreon.com for <laughs> specifically to avoid. Apparently, it wasn't up, but you know, I got I got it rolling. So you know, yes, we're trying but- to. We gotta update everything on that because <laughs> wow, is everything out of date on that? <laughs> it's been, it has been a long time. They have not touched that since January of 2020, and boy, does that seem like a decade ago. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, one of the goals is let's buy new mics, and I have bought three mics since then. I didn't even realize that was one of the goals I have a, mic, a new mic too. <laughs> yeah, the next one is cameras, which I ha- which we both have. Yeah, so, so we really shot for the stars. The match that I actually think is going to be match of the weekend: uh, Adam Cole is going to take on Kyle O'Reilly in an unsanctioned match. That's going to be match of my life. And yeah, uh, I I just I think I wrote, just wrote down Kyle because I think that I think that uh, if he ever moves up to the main roster, he will be O'Reilly within months. Because there's no way you don't you think they're going to take the Kyle out of his name. He's just going to be O'Reilly. Maybe they'd start calling him KOR, but I don't know if they'd. Oh my God. He'll be sponsored by O'Reilly Auto Parts. Have, <laughs> there'll be a whole 24 7 thing where the O'Reilly Auto Parts guy wins. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be perfect. The, the I'm fucking one. WWE for them. 
The Old Spice one was amazing with that uh, with Bugenhagen as the Old Spice commercial oh my God, guy. Same thing, can ha- same thing can happen, but with tires. We they should pay us money. This is TikTok worthy. This is going on TikTok. <laughs> I also think Kyle O'Reilly, um, because Adam Cole doesn't need to win at this point That's in NXT mean, but, lore. But could you imagine if if Adam Cole just fucking won? God, I, I I would sit there and go, yeah, I guess. I'd be unhappy with it, but I'd accept it. Yeah, same. I'd be like, eh, okay, sure. No, O'Reilly needs this win like a lot. And then another match. Certain this certainly really does feel like another match despite it being the title match. Yeah. Killer Cross versus Prince Devitt. I mean, Cross lost his title. Finn was it as wanted as a response. So Cross is back. So Cross needs the title back. I think Cross is gonna win the title back. So yesterday uh, I saw I saw a thing on uh impact where the Sandman helped Sammy Callahan beat Killer Cross. Uh, in an impact thing three years ago, so I'm going. I'm going with Finn Balor. You don't, you don't need the Sandman's help. <laughs> Jesus Christ! See, I yeah. see. Derek, you're not the only person who watches Impact. <laughs> Literally a three three minute clip. I wish I never. Killer Cross yeah. looked boss. That was a very zero brain prediction because I saw him get beat in an impact once. Okay, also like <laughs> Kill- Killing Cross kind of sucks. I don't get it. I mean, I think he sucks too, but I also think uh Triple H thinks he rules. So Oh my god, no. <laughs> this is like a Bruce Pritchard like You know, like I heard something that was like Road Dog was just like if Adam Cole looked like Carrying Cross. Christ. So like I understand what you mean, like I I totally get it, but like Finn Balor is so good at at doing the wrestling, right? Have I, you seen Finn Balor do the wrestling? I have. It's, it's the best match of the year in every single takeover. <laughs> That's not true. It was the best match last takeover. Whoa, whoa! Everybody forgot this was a WrestleMania theme. Now, wait, I want to ask, because we didn't do it on our document. There are two matches that are announced as part of WrestleMania SmackDown. Do we want to predict those as well? No. Okay. This is like when I was eight years old, and and the SmackDown before was literally the promo packages, and then Michael Cole being like, can't you you wait? And I was like, I can't wait, but I'm also too... My parents aren't going to buy WrestleMania for $60, because I'm eight years old. I do want to point out that most of what I predicted in advance for WrestleMania was wrong. But the one thing that still stands, even though it's technically on WrestleMania SmackDown, is that it's 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 the one the one match and result that I could still have from like the two months ago when we predicted was King Corbin winning the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. That's why you wanted to do it, you sly little bit. <laughs> I, I just wanted to point that out, because if he actually wins, let, that's going to be, like, crazy. Okay, so what? So did I predict any correct matches that will happen at WrestleMania? You at pred- um, I'll double-check, but I believe the only one you predicted... Oh, no, you got two. You got... Uh, Banks and Bel Air as a match that's happening. Oh, and you, I and, feel like everybody knew that. And, was you, and you got The Fiend and Randy Orton. <gasps> really? And yeah. did I say in a Firefly, in a Firefly, probably anything match? You did. You did say in a Firefly, probably anything match. Boom. I'm just booking. What did I well, say? Well, it's, that- not, it's not in you a Firefly. Like Edge anything. versus Finn Balor doesn't. <laughs> you did. You, you. I mean, it's not in a Firefly anything match. At no. Mania. It's a I, singles I match, technically. We, we don't know that. I mean, as of right now, it's a singles match. No, we don't know that. There's gonna be there's gonna be spooky shit going on. What are you talking about? Two projectors this time. <laughs> uh, there's gonna be a projector under the ring. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All I'm right. Sure. Let's what talk about predict? what did, is it you only predicted that one, right? For for what matches that are going to happen. Yeah. 
What yeah. was the most wrong thing each of us predicted? Because I haven't, I don't watch our episodes. Um, but... Here, let me get to the to the. Uh, like Edge are... versus Finn Balor probably is mine, but like I want to like what my craziest prediction was. All right, so the most, uh, so some of the highlights of things you predicted, uh, <laughs> that definitely aren't happening. Uh, Edge and Finn Balor. It's, uh, it's a, first of all, what a great match that could be. Right. Uh, you predicted uh, Adam Pierce versus Shane McMahon. Come on. I'm like <laughs> so close. You predicted Rollins versus Murphy in a dick for a dick match. That's so funny. <laughs> uh, not so far off things. Uh, you did predict that the SmackDown tag title match would be rooted Ziggler versus the Street Profits. Which isn't technically like wrong, but there's also two other teams in there. Ah, how was I supposed to know? And also, that's on SmackDown, so it doesn't count. Oh, it does not count. You are right. Um, other things is that uh, we both assumed the Hurt business would still be a thing by WrestleMania. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> uh, which was wrong. <laughs> Which is sad. It's very wrong. You said Styles and Omos would face Priest and Bad Bunny. Oh, come on. That would have been a cool match. Whereas I predicted much more outlandish things that didn't come anywhere close to coming true. I'm so excited because I wanted I want to know how dumb you sound compared to Bad Bunny versus Omos. So I said Rhea Ripley versus Bianca Belair was gonna be the SmackDown women's title match. Uh I said I said by this time Cesaro would be Intercontinental Champion and he would be facing Shinsuke Nakamura. <laughs> um, my favorite one is that I said Adam Cole was going to face Bobby Lashley for the U.S. Championship. Oh, does see Derek doesn't even care about Bobby Lashley. See, I think that was the obvious choice. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and Kyle O'Reilly and Drew McIntyre will have her. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you want to count this as technically right. I did say that Balor versus Cross for the NXT title was going to happen at Mania. Yeah, you said Mania. Yeah, that's true. And then I said Roman versus Edge, which is closer than... It's not closer than you are because you said Roman and Brian. We were... Together, we we're a correct prediction. I'm pretty sure you called me dumb for saying that. <laughs> like... Because at the time... And honestly, still a little bit. It was a dumb, like, in kayfabe to insert Daniel Bryan into the match. Oh, I can't wait to hear your fucking prediction for who's going to win that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So let's, get, let's, <laughs> so let's get to WrestleMania night one, shall we? You fucking asshole. Okay, pr apparently the opener, Drew McIntyre versus uh, Robert Lashley. I can't wait till they change his name to Robert Lashley. I, I really hope they don't. Um, I picked Drew McIntyre because to call Miz the transitional champion is a is an understatement. But to but thinking Bobby Lashley is good, I think Bobby Lashley has the opportunity to win. I just think that the first I mean, I just think that Drew's got to win. I mean, they they have they have given nothing to Drew. Like Drew has had a shit time being a top guy, right? And I think for the fans and for the essence of WrestleMania to really get all that energy going right at the beginning of the show, you need Drew to come out first to all the fans and you need Drew to win the opening match True. to set that energy for WrestleMania. So I agree. I think Drew McIntyre is winning. One of my favorite matches that's going to be happening, the Bad Bunny and Damian Priest versus The Miz and the John Morrison. This is about a lot more than hip hop skills now. This is about a Bugatti. <laughs> Instead of calling the police and filing a report, Bad Bunny is going to just straight up punch the Miz in his fucking head. Great. Good job. I want him to do that a lot. And I want him to get the pin. And I say Bad Bunny and Damian Priest are going to beat the Miz and John Morrison. Oh my God. I want the Bobby Roode and uh, Dolph Ziggler versus Bad Bunny and Damian Priest. God, I just want Dolph Ziggler versus Bad Bunny, honestly. God, I wonder if Cardi B is going to make an appearance at WWE. Doesn't she do a thing with WWE on Twitter? Uh, maybe. 
She was mentioned once by like uh, Carmella, I think, or by Reginald or whatever. Right. The New Day and Styles and Almost. The New Day's versus Styles and Almost. It's they're not. It's not eight man. Uh, I I I chose Styles and Almost because it's Almost his first match. Yes, it's almost too easy to predict that AJ Styles and Omos are going to win the Raw Tag Team Championships. Because the New Day doesn't win any, need any more WrestleMania wins at this point. They, right. They've they run the WrestleMania gauntlet, essentially. They could just... Yeah, who the, who the fuck now. cares about fucking Kofi Kingston? <laughs> Kofi won the title. They hosted... Uh, they don't, yeah, they don't need anything else. They, they don't Kofi need won the title. <laughs> That's it. They, they, they can lose every single match. They will be more over than most people. I mean, they did lose to the League of Nations at my favorite WrestleMania, WrestleMania 32. <laughs> what I think could be match of the night. <laughs> no. <laughs> Braun, versus, Braun versus Shane McMahon. Now, I, I picked the unpopular choice. Yeah. But I'm also, I'm also gunning for a win, and I don't think this is the end of this feud. I really hope it is but i don't think it is it's, i think this is going to go until like backlash or money in the bank or extreme rules or some some other show i think shane mcmahon is gonna sweaty his way out of this like he did against the miz uh, don't remind me of that match oh yeah because you were there i was there that yeah. was awful <laughs> yeah uh so i think i think that that's going to happen i think shane mcmahon is so Somehow going to win that match, but Braun Strowman will have like killed him by yeah. then. Yeah, I'm gonna say I don't think this is going to be a bad match. I'm of the opinion that this is gonna be a sleeper match that's talked about negatively, but it's actually very entertaining in the same vein as the Judy Bagwell on a forklift match at New Blood Rising 2000. Yeah, there's, there's like no way this match ends in pinfall or submission. No, this match is going to be really fun, which is what I love from WrestleMania. Braun Strowman also has not won a cage match ever. He threw Kevin Owens off the top <laughs> of, a, of a cage, so I'm just saying. Well, he beat the Big Show, didn't he? No, I don't think he did. I think... Uh, I think in, in a moment of pure uh, pure emotion and pure uh, pure uh, karma, I think that Shane McMahon's going to do something really stupid and cost himself the match, giving the win to Braun Strowman. Interesting. To to ba 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 Braun. Ba 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 Braun. Ba 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 Braun. Uh, so next fun. match, Cesaro versus Rollins. I picked Cesaro because Seth Rollins literally does not need to exist. I didn't. I didn't want him to come back. I was so okay with him being gone. I picked Cesaro, not because I don't think Seth Rollins shouldn't exist. I like Seth Rollins, but not I think I want. I want. Uh, I want Carlos, whatever his real oh, name is, to you just don't, yeah. I, I don't like Seth Rollins as a character, and I don't want him to be mad at me on Twitter either. I just. I just. Don't, <laughs> I, just I can't. I just can't get into Seth Rollins anymore because every Seth Rollins match is kind of the same now. Yeah, that's right. And fair. not in the New Japan where he does all the same spots. Like, right. I just feel like he always like he, he always has a problem with his knee. Mm -hmm. I think Cesaro's gonna win because Seth Rollins doesn't need a win right now. In fact, I like Seth Rollins' character right now as someone who hypes himself up a lot and then loses, but still like puts over people, like sort of like Bray Wyatt did for that period of time. In like 2015, 2016. So I think Cesaro is going to get that win here. And probably what should be the main event, but probably won't be of night I think, one. I think it will be. Is Bianca Belair versus Sasha Banks? Uh, I said Bianca because, uh, of course, I because, of course. Uh, sidebar, the Young Bucks just tweeted, please refrain from any negative or toxic <laughs> comments in our mentions tonight. If so, we'll unfortunately delete our Twitter account again. Thank you. Have a great night. Freaking Young Bucks, man. Oh, man, I hate them so much. Right <laughs> um, And we're back. Yeah, I, 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 said, I said Sasha Banks because I don't think Bianca Belair is actually uh getting with uh like mainstream crowds i think sasha banks 
is just the bad. She's the baddie, but she's not a heel. Right. I I I mean, I feel like this is sort of Bel Air's uh like John Cena WrestleMania 21 moment where like this is the moment that specifically defines you as a star. I think this is the time for Bianca Belair to be like cemented as a as a person in the women's roster. Well, the deliver of night two of WrestleMania. Mania, if you're cool. <laughs> Matt Riddle and Sheamus for the United States Championship. I mean, I can't believe you. I go with my morals. I. Bullshit. I mean, I think it's Matt Riddle, but I don't want it to be. But Bullshit. predictions wise, Bullshit. predictions wise, Ain't like Sheamus ain't win this. Bullshit. Sheamus ain't win this. Sheamus has not won a WrestleMania match since WrestleMania 28. <laughs> Sheamus has been playing beating Daniel Bryan so quickly for like almost 10 years. Point. That's that just lied. Did Sheamus? Sheamus was in the League of Nations. Kevin Owens versus Sami Zayn. With Logan uh, Paul at ringside. <laughs> he's the ringside enforcer. I said Kevin Owens because, because wow, does Sami Zayn, is Sami Zayn going to lose? And Kevin Owens needs his WrestleMania moment, my guy. Yeah, I think Kevin Owens is going to win because Kevin Owens needs to win right now to stay relevant. But also, the closer we get to WrestleMania, the more I think Logan Paul is going to cost Sami Zayn the match. Yeah. So, so I'm gonna say Kevin Owens on this one. Is Logan Paul gonna be on WrestleMania S- SmackDown? <laughs> I hope he should. He should win the Andre the Giant Memorial. Oh, my oh my God! Him and Colin Jost. <laughs> <laughs> I know that maybe we made this joke on air, but I really did think that Colin Jost was gonna win the Andre the Giant Battle Royal in 20 uh, at, at WrestleMania 35, and he almost did. He almost did. He was final two. <laughs> I was so close. <laughs> that oh, was, that and was... that's Peacock integration. So, uh, I mean, yeah, I'm sure Colin Fox. Jost would love to on Fox. Which is a different company. Um, <sighs> we're we talking about. Oh yeah, yeah, Kevin Owens. Easily. Yeah. Oh yeah. All right. The next match, the match that I think is the easiest match to predict in a Nigerian drum fight for the Intercontinental Champion. It's Apollo Crews versus Biggie Langston. See, I picked Biggie because after all of this time of Biggie getting attacked by Apollo, all this time of Biggie's singles rise, wouldn't it be really shitty for him to lose at WrestleMania? If- yeah, but they're literally building up Apollo Crews to be a heel. But they're also building up Big E to be like a top guy. <laughs> Yeah, and you can't be a top guy if you're holding the mid card belt. That's not true. Seth Rollins did it in 2017 when Brock Lesnar held the WWE title hostage or the mm-hmm. Universal title hostage. Yeah, but Bobby Lashley and or Drew McIntyre are not are not gonna hold that division up. <laughs> I mean, they are now. <laughs> Pish. I think this is too easy. I disagree. I can't wait right. to see the look on your face. <laughs> The next one, Asuka versus Rhea Ripley. I can't believe you cho- you chose the obvious choice. I, I couldn't believe you you chose the not obvious choice. I can't believe it that you never win any of these. I Maybe because you pick you just you don't win it. You have not won anything since you swept me at SummerSlam. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Look at me, I'm smacked out, <laughs> not winning anything. Um. Yeah, I just think Oscar's going to win cuz like I think Oscar versus Becky Lynch is a money match. And I mean, I they're still holding out for the for the Oscar Becky Lynch rematch. I mean, like I compared uh like I compared Bianca Belair to the uh the WrestleMania 21 John Cena moment. I think this is going to be Rhea Ripley's WrestleMania 21 Batista moment and she's going to have a really big outing winning her first women's championship. That match is really disappointing, so I can't believe you even said that. <laughs> what, Triple H and Batista at WrestleMania 21? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm comparing it because, like, WrestleMania 21 is, like, most memorable for being, like, the biggest moment in two young up-and-comers' careers. Mm, yeah. Which is why I think this is a great time to sort of replicate that. On the edge. 
big moment in Edge's career that that WrestleMania. Twenty one. Twenty one. He won the Money in the Bank. I own it on DVD. That's why I know that. I mean, yeah, but like it's it's like the the famous thing is John Cena and Batista both won their first world titles. The next match, The Fiend versus Randy Orton in a match. Hold on. So you gotta you gotta you gotta put that I got like plus two because I did get plus two. You so are you talking about for predicting that this match is gonna happen? Yeah. So when we went over this, uh, when we first made that predictions. You said that we had to have the the stipulation right. Oh, come and on. you predicted a Firefly something match. If and a this Firefly is a singles match. If, if it happens, spooky. you can get it. Yeah, if anything spooky happens, but I as of, that point. As of right now, it is a singles match. There's no way the Fiend, the Fiend Bray Wyatt is not going to just... He's not going to wrestle a match. He just okay, but could you, could you imagine if the Fiend and Randy Orton just wrestled like a super technical match with like... Reversal with rest hold, with reversals and submissions and who wants to see that? <laughs> I kind of do. That'd be entertaining. He's not gonna be able to wrestle. How is he gonna keep all of the makeup on? <laughs> that's that. That's a mask. Yeah, because Barry right right just looks like that in real life. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, the fiend easily. Yeah, come on, the fiend. And and now the main event, a match that I have yet to predict in my head either because man all three of these people could fucking win they really could they really could. i think that's the, i think that's the appeal of this match i don't think wwe has made up their mind yet i think they'll make up their mind during night one yes i and think during night two this is of course roman reigns versus edge versus dan o'brien for the universal championship i think that because this is probably Daniel's last WrestleMania, and I don't <gasps> think it's and I don't think it's gonna be Edge's last WrestleMania, and it's certainly not Roman's last WrestleMania. I think the I think uh Daniel Bryan's retirement match is going to be against the Miz. No joke. I think it should be too. And you know what would make that even better is if the universal title was on the line. Not saying the Miz should win, but Daniel Bryan should retire uh you like the by Miz beating the, the Universal title. Hey, he won the WWE title. Why not? Can you, you imagine? at that. I didn't. Know. <laughs> at least when I'm crazy, I'm consistently crazy. <laughs> All right. I said Daniel Bryan was going to win because Daniel Bryan should win. I think Daniel Bryan winning. Oh, man, it wasn't. Isn't that a stupid pick to even be in the match? Hmm. I still <laughs> think it. I still think it is. But I also think he's the one who's going to win it. See, this is tough because I think it's a triple threat match because somebody. Because uh, I think it's this is gonna sound dumb, but I I think it's Roman or somebody who's not Roman. But if some it's somebody who's not Roman, Roman is not getting pinned, right? Like <laughs> I was saying, of course it's Roman and someone who's not Roman. That's the no, only, no, 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 no. Like I don't. Think that, I think Roman Reigns. Will, that sounds weird, but I think Roman Reigns will either be involved in the pin or not at all. Right. Uh, I I agree. Roman Reigns is either pinning someone or some or one of the other two is pinning each other. Has Roman Reigns been featured in Young Rock yet? I don't know if Roman Reigns is going to be featured in Young Rock. Well, you know, like a child Roman Reigns. I don't think so. I don't know. I'll ask my parents. They watch Young Rock. My mom watches Young Rock. Her <laughs> parents would be friends. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think... Our parents should start a podcast. Parents of Devoid. God, that sounds so. I do want to do a podcast called The Ladies of Devoid, where it's just people who aren't us and they're women. They don't even talk about any of the things we do. It's just a completely different podcast. No, nah, but I, I, I really just like the name Ladies of Devoid. <laughs> I don't know why. I just, I'm a fan. So, do you have an official decision? Roman Reigns. Okay. Yeah. I don't have a reason. I'm just I I've got to write down Roman Reigns, I guess. No, oh my I god, because they've always wanted him to win at WrestleMania, and he'll get the biggest cheer he's ever gonna get. I mean, same, but I also think WWE would love to end WrestleMania on another yes chant visual. It's true. Well, that's been us. Uh holy shit, we've been here for a while. Yeah. Uh, but that's been us. We'll we'll catch you next week when we talk about 
random shit. Yes, not wrestling. But until then, I've been me, and you've been you, and we're out of here.